What's good? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. Um, there's a couple things I want to address. Why am I like, it's like moving really, really slow. Hopefully this doesn't affect the video. But there's one couple things I want to address. Um, tournament Rico Trials is definitely underway. The link, uh, the bracket is in the description below. So everyone, part everyone that's participating, I can't wait to see what happens. Two, listen guys, I miss Jake too. I really do. I miss Jake and all his cool decks. Uh, but Jake's Jake's busy right now. He's very busy, and I'm assuming he's having he's enjoying his time off of Pokemon Duel. I spoke with him today. Guess what? I have some good news. He's not done with Pokemon Duel. Okay, he's just he's just taking a break because he's busy. He will be back. He did tell me when he'll be back. Uh, and I'm just gonna say it's it's gonna be soon. Okay, so just just hold tight, guys. All right, hold tight. Um, I have some boosters to pop, so we're gonna pop those. Hopefully, I get something good. No, and then we got a gold. Oh, man, it's been a while since I got an EX. Can I please get an EX? Fingers crossed. Game's broken. Ah, it's it's a Voltorb. I actually want to mess around with Voltorb, and I need some gold, man. Look at my gold, fourteen thousand. Um, okay. What I want to talk about next is Spider Man. He actually blessed me with his account because he was quitting Pokemon Duel. And his account's pretty good. It's uh, It's got a hell of a lot of figures, more figures than I do. And uh, Spider-Man, if you're watching this though, I'm kind of upset because you don't have the Pikachu rare. You don't have the rare Pikachu and I wanted to craft a deck involving Pikachu because Pikachu is the main theme of my channel because I love Pikachu. But what I did do is he has the uncommon Pikachu. So I have a special game for you guys. And I recovered his account. It's on my iPad. So we're going to jump in. And we're going to watch this uh, match. Be right back. Okay. We are back. And take a look at this team. I just want to show off how insane electric type Pokemon are when you have a Coco on board. And I brought the full Pikachu evolution line. The Pichu, the Pikachu, and the Raichu. Because a Pichu is a, he's a pretty good Mew counter. And a lot of people are running Mews. And take a look at this team. It's a very interesting team. Trop and a Steel Energy. Look at this guys. 3600. Pretty good rating. Um, plates I brought along with it. Double two double chances and a swap spot. That's just that's just typical Rico. Uh, Max Revive. Hurdle Jump. Or not Hurdle Jump. Goal. Block. And I actually brought the X Speed. Okay. Now I just want to apologize beforehand. The game was really really slow and I think it's because my iPad is like look how long it's taken to load there I think it's because my iPad like needs to be updated heavily okay so what I want to explain about this deck this uh, this deck is basically circled around Pichu Pikachu and Raichu and I actually I cube them up to level 5 with the exception of Raichu because uh, Spider-Man's account <laughs> was low on gold too uh, but I got to level 5 and I actually want to chain level them I actually wanted the rare Pikachu because I wanted to show that off because I love Pikachu but the, the purpose of this deck is to be very, very defensive with Coco because it's all an electric type deck. Now, mostly you guys, when you see Coco's, they're, they're kind of kind of a rush deck, kind of sort of. I don't know. I haven't really pl got to play around with Coco that much, uh, but I'm so happy I got my hands on Coco and I'm so happy I got my hands on uh, this electric deck. I mean, I could run this on my account if I have a Coco. That's all I need is a Coco. And you know what? I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm gonna invest in getting a Coco, but to, to let you guys know, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch off between my 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 main account and this experiment account. I mean, this experiment account has it only has a couple of uh, figures that I don't have, which is the Coco and the Mega Gengar and a couple of other like uncommons and rares. But um, I mean, yeah, Spider-Man's account has a lot more stuff than I do. Um, so the beginning of this match. We're just feeling each other out. Uh, what am I thinking here? I'm looking at Co Cobalion, and I'm like, I don't really know what I have to counter this Cobalion. And uh, it's like cutting off. Like like I said, I apologize. It, I need to update my iPad, because I think my iPad's running on still version the beginning of 10. Not 10.3, not 10. Point whatever. Not even 11. I need to get 11, so it's not laggy like this, and I think that is. Okay, so I decide, so the goal here is my Pichu, I'm looking at my mons, or the, my opponent's mons. My Pichu goes really good against the Mew and the Curlia. And I figured, I brought my Pichu there because I was going to start 
I don't know what I was going to do, actually. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I brought Pichu there. But then he brings his Curlier on the right side. And here I'm thinking, like, okay, I need to somehow get my Pichu towards that Curlier. I mean, I know I have the swap, but I pretty much already shot myself in the foot. And I thought, the next best thing is, I think with my Mons left, I think my Raikou has a pretty good shot against the Curlia. Uh, opponent starts moving up to Sceptile. I believe I move up the... Do I move up Big Vault? No, I shouldn't move up Big Vault. What I should have done here is I should have brought that uh, Electrode. I should have brought him... Wait, never mind. Because of the Curlia, I can't do the, the swap in the Hurdle. So yeah, bring up the electrode. I actually want to mess around. I want to mess around with an electrode and Voltorb deck. Uh, Spider-Man has three Voltorbs and only one electrode, so I can't do it there. Uh, my opponent safely moves up as Curlia, and I can't surround him because Curlia is uh, a fairy mon. That's why I can't swim over. I can't get the surround. So uh, now that I know he's there, I'm gonna I'm I'm starting to move my Zapdos away from the goal, and I'm gonna start replacing. My Pichu there, because I'm going to try and go after that Curlia. My opponent makes a smart move, moves the Cobalion right next, or right behind Curlia because of my uh, Raikou, who has a golden attack. A gold attack. Okay, so he's slowly preparing uh, for, for me, and I'm, <laughs> I'm slowly trying to get my Pichu over here. Because I really want to get Pikachu and Raichu on the board, because they do... With the evolutions plus the plus 30 from Coco, it's just insane what happens here. Get an unfortunate miss. There's nothing you can do there. It's, it's you know, it's RNG. I think I move my Vicavolt out. Yeah, move Vicavolt out. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm already like almost a full minute behind because it's taken forever to move. It kind of got me very upset. And I safely move my zap here, and I at the same time I'm like, oh wait, Spider-Man's zap isn't as good as my zap because my zap has one more chain level. So I was kind of going through that while playing here. I was, I was like, oh wait, I was used to my zap, but his zap's just slightly a little, mine's slightly a little better. So, yeah, I mean he starts attacking. It's I don't I mean I don't know. It's because he negates my gold attack. It's it's a I don't know. It's it's a neutral, I think, I believe, in my opinion, the the setup. But I get the thunderous blow, and he gets protected because of on him. But I get the paralyzed though, and I can paralyze everything behind it. So that was a, that was a fortunate roll for me. And next, I bring my Pichu right up closer, and I'm like, all right, in the event, uh, I get taken out. I'm gonna take that attack this curve, but I did not, I did not keep in mind. That he has the Gardevoir. And he gets a Psycho Switch. He gets a good roll. And, man, you know what? I cannot wait for Glade or Mega Gardevoir to come into this game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. So he swaps, gets his Gardevoir on the board. Now I'm like, great. Now what am I going to do? How am I going to get this Pikachu on the board? I, I, I don't know. The only Mon that has a viable shot is against the Mew. But then again, the Virizion is paralyzed. And so is the Cobalion. So it, be, it it comes between those three mods. And here I make an attack thinking I'm safe. But uh, I totally forgot there was a 70. For some reason, I, I, like, that's the first time I even played with Vicavolt. I thought Vicavolt only had the 100 attack. So I was like, I could safely attack Virizion. No problem. Uh, land the 70. Get the plus 30. And he gets the 103. He gets the Sword of Justice. And now I'm like, uh... I this I don't I what are we going to do here? Things are looking really really slim. <clears throat> so I, I move my zap closer to the goal just just to protect it. I don't want that uh I don't want that Sep Kyle coming any closer cuz he has a very good matchup against Coco and my Pichu. I figure Zapdos is probably the best thing. Um, but I think so what did my opponent do? He moved his Gardevoir back. I'm not sure why. Moves up his uh Verizion and he doesn't attack and I'm like all right hmm I'm gonna slowly start moving up my uh, my Raikou which what's my opponent do here does he attack with Cobalion oh yeah he does attacks with Cobalion mistake on my part moving up the, the Raikou I should really Raikou is an attacker I'll talk about it in a second and he has the steel energy, so he's at 121. 
And I'm like, uh, great. Raikou's an attacker, Zap's an attacker. You should really only move them in positions to attack when you have the Coco on the board. You shouldn't move them in a position to be attacked because then you don't get that plus 30. And right here, I'm like, you know what? It's time. It's time to try and get this Pikachu on the board. Virizion has a huge miss. We get a double chance and like, can we please get it? <laughs> Your boy Rico gets the roll and I'm like, okay, okay. Now we got Pikachu on the board. Pikachu has a whopping 110. I don't know if, I think it's Thunder and then 50 Thunder Shocks. Couple that with being a fet or being aggressive with Coco with the plus thirty, insane here. And I look at that Cobalion. I look at my Thunder one ten. I know he's gonna be one twenty one. I know if I get the one ten, I will be one forty. And I'm like, you know what? Let why? It's time. You gotta be aggressive. And you gotta take risks. Otherwise, if you don't take risks, you're gonna slowly get eaten. And I mean, my my time was low, but I'm like. Let's do this. He's got that miss. Give me that thunder. Give me that thunder. Let's go, Pikachu. Boom! Thunderbolt. Pikachu comes through with that 140, and I'm like, no way. Now I got Raichu on the board. Who Raichu is? It's it's not even. I I I maybe I might consider the uncommon Pikachu to the right. I don't know. No, I, I, what am I talking about? The Raichu is obviously better because it's got that 60. If he gets taken out. They become paralyzed, and it's got that whopping 120 when it's evolved. Thunder? I don't know if it's Thunder or Thunderbolt. But now I'm like, okay. The, the the tides have turned in my favor quickly, just like that. But I'm still down a significant amount of time. So I'm trying to figure out, how, how are we going to get back here? I get a T-Wave, and man, this 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 deck is just so... I, I guarantee this player was so pissed off with how annoying this, this electric deck was. So here I decide to max revive. I have the majority of the mons on the board, and I need my attacker back on the board. Cobalion's gone, and that uh, Gardevoir is looking slim, but I, I don't know. I think that, that was probably a waste. Because, yeah, I use it, and then I check his plates, and I'm like, oh, wait, he's still got a max revive. He's got the long throw. Uh, th that was a misplay on my part. I probably shouldn't have uh, pulled out the, uh, the max revive right away, just like that. And he gets the warp hole. I'm actually, I'm glad Gardevoir... I'm glad I'm playing a Gardevoir because when I when I first started playing Pokemon Duel, I got like three Gardevoirs and I thought they were absolute trash. But it's it's nice to see them back into the game because of Coco. <clears throat> got a pretty good roll there. I got a I got a nice roll there, and now I can safely take the entry point with my uh, Egg or Electrode. I think my opponent just safely brings on the the Verizion. He does. And I'm like, right here, I'm like, you know what? I want to do some more damage with Raichu. Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. I have the X speed specifically for this reason. Because they are their wheels are heavily white. And I need a gold on there. Especially against these um, purple attackers. And I'm like, let's go. I mean, I get the thunder. I didn't get to really show off the the X speed, but I, I I did get to take him out, which uh, I don't know. I really don't know about that play, because my opponent can just keep cycling Mons on Raichu. If I keep taking him out, he can just keep cycling him on, wasting my time, and here I'm thinking, I'm like, alright, I need I need, I need a new strategy. I need to figure out something. <clears throat> Pulled the swap spot, and and it, it, was, it was until after this is when I realized, I'm like, I probably shouldn't be attacking that slot because even if I do and I just keep taking the mons out, they're just going to keep cycling them back and forth. He gets a dodge, or he gets a typhoon slash, I get the dodge. And in my head I'm thinking, I'm like, alright, that Mew is protecting the goal. What I what I need to do is I need to somehow get this Coco next to that Mew. So I start moving up my, uh, my Raichu because I want to put my Coco there next turn. But my opponent attacks with Sceptile. Sam's how gets a double leaf blade. I'm surprised this player is in the 3600, uh, but I do get the paralyzed. Like I could tell this player was super, probably super annoyed. I'm surprised that Sceptile is not level five yet. Uh, maybe this player is brand newish and it's just really that good to get to 3.6. I mean, 3.6 is really good. I, something I haven't achieved. 
something I hope to achieve. I mean, that would be nice. Now, can I just? I just want to apologize again and again for how slow it takes to load. Like I said, I will be updating my uh, my iPad after this, and hopefully, it's not so like this again. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, things get pretty scary here for the next couple turns. The Sceptiles can, or Thunder, or Paralytes, like, I'm not too worried. He gets a double Leaf Blade. That's twice. Twice in a row, he gets a double Leaf Blade. Uh, and here I'm in a bad shot, and I'm like, bad spot. The only viable option, in my opinion, is to bring down the Raikou. It's survive it has the best survival chance against this Sceptile. I didn't want to bring the uh, Coco down. To have him get closer with the uh, Verizion. And if I brought the Coco on, he would just attack with my Sep. <sighs> Fortunately, I get the Melee Melee Wish. Now we can get rid of this threat that's right next to my um, Coco. I Things are looking okay, but I'm down two minutes. Two minutes and Sceptile attacks again. I'm like, alright, I have a pretty good shot at surviving. No! He gets a Leaf Blade, and I get Thunderous Blow, and he takes me out, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Alright, Coco, like... Coco has to survive, and Coco has to start making his way towards the Mew. Like, that's what has to happen. Makes the right move with attacking with Sceptile again. Coco, please! He gets the Double Leaf Blade for the third time! The third time. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I would, The only option here is to attack with Raichu. Raichu. Raichu, you gotta come through, buddy. You gotta come through, buddy. Let's do it. Yes. Yes. <sighs> that was a scary roll. It, it definitely could have went in my opponent's favor. Could have hit the stealth hit. Could have been game. Or he could have got the double leaf blade again, but I got a I got a pretty decent roll, and I still don't know if it's thunder or if it's thunderbolt. Uh, I don't know. So my opponent starts bringing up the Cobalion, and here I decide to bring up the um, the Zapdos. Regardless, uh, I know that I cannot. Um, I don't have a good chance against this Cobalion, but the reason why I did it is because. Um, Zapdos mobility because the plan here is I'm gonna try and uh, surround this Mew and he does that and I'm like oh bro I'm gonna go right next to this Mew he's probably gonna move his Cobalion back or his um, Empoleon but I fail to remember that my opponent still has the max revive and I'm like oh mistakes mistakes but the good thing is now that he's gone i'm starting to cycle by mons in my pc and that brings coco closer to getting it back on the board because i really do need coco for this team if coco's not on this team it's it's pretty much useless here <clears throat> i don't know why i brought raikou closer to the entry point that's that's Pretty risk risky roll here in the event that uh, Gardevoir hits the the war pole or the purple attack, but he doesn't. He gets a super sigh, and I get the okay. So it's thunder, and now my Raichu is pretty much useless. He's pretty much rendered useless because any white attack that I hit, I roll a miss, and Raichu's gone. So here I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, I have to. I take the entry point here, and I, I'm trying to. I'm in my head. I'm like, I'm figuring out. I'm like, how am I gonna get Coco back on the board? And then I look at the time here, and I'm like, you know what? He gets a plus ten because it's still energy, and I'm like, you know what? It's time to make plays, and it's time to take risks. And that's what exactly what your boy Rico does. We're going over this Kobe Island, just like I said. I moved up my zap, which is bad. But because of his, om his mobility, I'm like, let's go. Come on, Zapdos. Steel Wing or the Thunder Crash. He gets the Psychic. And I'm like, no way. No way. My opponent has to be so upset. So upset. My opponent really doesn't have a shot. I mean, attacking with Cobalion probably wasn't the best. I think Sceptile would have been the best. But he rolls a dodge. I get the Thunder Crash. And oh my goodness. That is game. 
Rico got some fortunate rolls, made lots of misplays. But I beat somebody at 3.6. I've never beaten somebody at 3.6. And this deck is awesome. And I cannot wait to get my hands on a Coco. But this deck, this 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 account's going to be, it's going to be experimental. I'm not going to be using it regularly because I want to use my account. But shout out to Spider-Man for allowing me to have his account. But we're going to cut it there because this video is already too long. And I need to cook myself some dinner because I am hungry. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, peace.